Hello, everyone. Hello, Stamping friends. I'm going to move things just a little bit. There we go. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. My name is Terry Hartley. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, um, in Iowa. And welcome to Rustic Barn Parts. As you jump on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Also, I have a different air conditioner uh, right now that's running. So I don't know if you can hear it or not. So if it's too loud, let me know and I will shut it off uh, during my demonstration. So I am going live. And you know you're watching it live if you see the live up in the corner. And I am streaming this on Facebook and YouTube. This is Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. And our mini catalog, which I like to call our holiday catalog and celebration, went live on July 1st. So exciting. And if you do not have either of these catalogs, please reach out to me in the description below, and I'll be glad to send you a catalog. Hi, Connie, good to see you. Well, today we're gonna to have a little fun using one of the celebration items, and that is the hippos. hippos. Aren't these hippos darling? They are, they are so cute. I'm also gonna be using some masking uh, tape, and I made this card but we're going to change it just a little bit and see if we can make it a little bit better. So uh, you're gonna come along with me in my journey, how I can take a card and then hopefully improve on a, a few things. And I'll tell you more about that when we turn the camera down. Hi, Maria, how are you doing? Yes, I'm doing well, thank you. It is very warm here in Iowa right now, but um, I don't wanna complain because I don't want, I don't like winter either. So, okay, well, we're gonna get started stamping, but before we do, uh, we're gonna give some prizes for my last slide. And please consider subscribing by clicking that subscribe button on the, if you're watching this on YouTube and you hit that bell, you'll be notified when I upload videos or go live. So the last time I was live, we made this card using vintage tools and congratulations to Rita Schaefer. You are the winner of the random drawing for leaving a comment. So one way to win a prize is to leave a comment. And Rita, I do not have your address. So please um, contact me in that description below and I will send this out to you. And then I have for sharing uh, a package of the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels and the butterflies and flowers mask. So the, both of these are going out to Alice Dunning of Fairfield, Iowa. You were the, were the winner of the drawing for sharing. And don't forget for those, when you share, make sure you let me know so I know who is sharing. So that will be going out to you. And I have a stamp set, Island Vibes. Remember which one I was giving away today. Island Vibes and this, the winner of the random drawing for placing an order since my last slide is Jackie Bettner of Sarasota, Florida. And I have your address and that will go out in the mail probably tomorrow. Okay, well, I'm gonna turn the camera down and hi, Bay, good to see you. And we are going to do some stamping and I really, really uh, hope that you'll like this card because these little hippos, I mean, how can you make a card uh, that you don't like when you're using these hippos, right? And again, if you can hear my air conditioner, if it's too loud, I will definitely turn it off. So let me know if that's a problem. Okay, well, here is our celebration catalog and our mini catalog. So today I'm gonna to be using from the celebration, 
on page four, and you can earn this free. You can earn this really cute hippos, hippos free by placing a $50 purchase from my online shop. And it has seven clean stamps. Now this also has dies with, with the uh, set and we are gonna use uh, one uh, couple, we're gonna use one die today. And I'll show these dies to you because they're really darling. And you can also earn this free by placing a $50 purchase. So that in order to get the stamp set and the dies, then that would be two $50 purchases. And of course, our mini catalog has gone live and it has beautiful, beautiful uh, products in here. So if you do not have a catalog, reach out to me. So today we're going to be using designer series paper that is actually in our annual catalog on page 135. We're gonna be using the end color six by six designer series paper. And this is for the 2022 to 2024 colors. So this is the brand new uh, colors that we have. And then I'm gonna be using one of the new dies and that is the stylish shapes. And that's on page 175 of our annual catalog. So we're going to be using a couple of these shapes for our card today. And then on page 146, we have all these new in color metallic woven ribbon, and we're going to use one of these today. So, we're going to be using a few things from the annual catalog and the celebration. So, here is that cute, cute stamp set. We have three darling hippos you're always on point which probably goes with this little dancer here you're so hip oh you really are the best and thank you connie for letting me know the sound is okay i appreciate that and love you a ton we're going to be using these two images and love you a ton for our sentiment But these dies are so awesome because not only do you have a die for each of the hippos, but you have all these fun accessories, umbrella, flowers, waves. Maybe that's a little swimming pool, um, goggles. So they can go snorkeling. I mean, hearts. So just a lot of accessories that goes with the hippo dies. And then we're going to be using the stylish shapes. And I've already pulled out, I'm going to be using the third from the largest circle. So this circle right here it would fit right here. So it's the third from the top. And then you also have some squares, but we're going to use one of the label. We use the smallest label die for our sentiment. So I'll pull that out and lay these aside. And then here is the six by six designer series paper and just gorgeous. You have like check plaid on one side. You have like some flowers on the others. And you also have stripes and there's dots. We are going to use this one right here, the sweet sorbet. And you could use either side, but I'm going to use, I like plaid. So we're going to use this, this side for our project today. I'm going to embellish it with rhinestone basic jewels. We're also going to be using masking paper today. And we'll be using a few blends, as well as our blending brushes. 
Okay, let me show you the card that we're going to make. And then I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to try to make better on the R, R card that we're going to do. So this is the card that I've made. And so it has a couple little windows. Uh, but so what I did, I stamped the, the hippos and then I die cut them. I stamped them um, on masking paper and then I die cut them out and then I placed them on here. And but then you can see a little bit of white is showing. So I'm going to try to um, what we're going to do today is that we're going to stamp and die cut one out on masking paper. And then we're going to um, stamp on masking paper, but we're going to hand cut it out. And we're going to see if that makes a difference. And then, of course, when you open it, then you, because we use our stamping blends, you do see um, where it has bled through. Now, I could easily just go ahead and put a layer on the inside of this card, which I probably will do. But I'm going to go ahead today. We're going to do two layers. Um, so hopefully that it will avoid that. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to need our card base, which is basic white. And this is uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just gonna you know, fold this in half and bring in my bone folder. I already have it scored at four and a quarter. I could give it a crisp edge and we'll set that aside. And then I have two, and my card base is the thick. I always use basic white thick for my card bases. And then I have two basic white, both the same size, five and a half by four and a quarter. But one is just regular basic white, and then the other is uh, the thick basic white. So I'm going to use the thick basic white to do my blending and things. And then this one I'm going to go ahead and cut out the little windows on the, and the reason I chose to do the basic, uh, the regular basic white is so my layers won't be quite so thick because I'm gonna be adding both of these layers on top of our card. And then we also need our designer series paper, which I've already cut. And this is a half by five and a half. And I actually, went a little bit longer than five and a half. I like to do that because I don't want it to be too short if my cutting is off or anything. And that way I can just trim it if we need it to. And then you'll need a scrap of basic white for the sentiment. Okay, so I can you can definitely feel which is thick and which is the basic white. So I'm going to grab our die here and I already have a basic white layer where I've already cut out one circle using those stylish shapes. And so I'm gonna bring in our cut and emboss and we're gonna go ahead and, and I think before we do that, let's just go ahead and make good use of that cut and emboss machine. So I'm going to bring in, uh, we need two inks, the Memento Black and we need Sweet Sorbet. And I'm gonna bring in our sentiment, which is love you a ton. And I'll ink this up. Stamp that. And then I can go ahead and do a couple of things with the cut and boss machine. Now the sentiment, I could easily do that on our little mini, but go ahead and get that lined up. But our layer is, so what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna place, I'm sure you can see that. I'm gonna place our circle just right down below the other one that I die cut. And I don't want it to move, so I'm just gonna use a little sticky note. And then I'm going to add 
our sentiment. And we're going to put that little label. And then we'll just run this through. Move that out of the way. And here we have our sentiment. Now you do not want to throw this away because you can use this on another card. All right, I'm gonna bring in And decide what to do next. Well, let's go ahead and bring in our thick basic white. And because we're going to be doing some stamping with that. Now I have already stamped and cut out a little hippopotamus. And this is the one that I stamped on masking paper and I cut that out myself. Now our masking paper comes, um, these are five by seven sheets of masking paper. And so I'm bringing this in here and I'm going to stamp the other hippo that we're going to need, the one that is dancing. So this hippo, we're gonna just die cut and then I'll just kind of trim it a little bit. Right. And I probably let me grab my mini. I think with the mini is a little bit easier for you to see on camera. And we are going to bring in this hippo die and we're going to die cut. So I'm using, I stamped on masking paper, the image. And I want to get it lined up. I'm going to use just a little sticky note there. And we're going to run this through. I think I just don't want her to. There we go. Like her ear was. All right. So we've got her cut out. And you just curl that right up here. So now before we use those, we're gonna go ahead and stamp our images on our card. So again, I'm gonna bring in our Tuxedo Black ink. And this is the hippo with the flower. And then you just kind of um, make sure they're stacked together and you just kind of eyeball it. And if you don't get it, 
if you don't get it all exactly, all of the hippo in there, that is fine. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp up, stamp the other hippo. So I'm going to kind of just kind of see where that circles that. And give it a good press. And there we go. All right. Now we're going to do some blending. So I do not want my hippos. Luckily, a little ink there, but this should frame should cut should cover that up, right? So this is the one that we die cut out, but see it, had, it leaves a little bit of white around it, which is, um, you can see on our card here. So, you know, we could leave it like that, or, you know, we could also try to just, you know, trim around it a little bit. If you don't want that white showing or at least not as much. I don't really think that it, I, mean, I think it still looks fine on the card, but it was a little bit more white showing than I wanted. So I thought, well, let's try to trim this for this card and see how it works out. And of course, I have a mess here, right? All right, let's get that taken care of. Crafting can be messy, that is for sure, but it's so much fun. Okay, so this is the one that I use on masking. Um, I just, but I cut it out with scissors. I did not die cut it. So we're just going to place it right over our image that we stamped. There we go. And then this is the one we die cut. I just trimmed a little bit. I didn't trim a lot, so we probably will have some white showing, but I think that's okay. And this just peels off. And then this part is sticky and it'll stick right on your image. So when you doing coloring or anything, then it's going to protect get it lined up on one side. It's going to protect your um, image. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, now we're going to bring in our sweet sorbet. Bay, you don't care for fussy cutting? Well, I don't, um, I don't mind it unless it's really, really, um, you know, really detailed. So I'm going to open my ink this way. Uh, I learned a new tip that I wanted to share with you, and you may already know this tip, but I didn't. And when I learn new tips, I like to share. I'm gonna bring in my blending brush and I'm gonna pick up, like I normally do, uh, some sweet sorbet. And then normally I would uh, rub it on my grid paper because otherwise you get a big blob and we don't want that. But instead of on the grid paper, I can just add it right here in my ink. And then I can always use that ink later when I am using uh, what, why am I pick up ink so I could actually save that ink rather than wasting it on my grid paper. Now, of course, we're gonna be cut, we're gonna have a frame that we're gonna put on this. So it doesn't, you know, matter if I go over a little bit. So I'm just adding some color. So I'm using a sweet sorbet. Um, red's my favorite color. This is kind of a reddish, uh, pink. And I think it's a pretty color. 
I'm sure all of you have a favorite for your in color. And you can just apply however much that you want. The designer series paper, one of the reasons I chose the plaid because it has, it shows a little bit of that, the pink side. Okay, I think that's probably going to work. So this is kind of fun, it's just another way to use your ink and a blending brush. And I'll lay that aside, close up this. Now I could have colored my hippos before I laid the masking tape on there, but I'm gonna uh, color them afterwards. I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit. So I'm gonna bring in a silicone craft sheet, our card base, and let's add our designer series paper. So I'm gonna bring in Stamp and Seal Plus. And then I'm going to make sure this top edge is even and use my thumb to make sure I have it against the card base. I felt that turn on me. Sometimes you can just kind of pack it like that so you get it even. Then you can press it down. Then I'm going to turn it over and I have a little bit, as I mentioned, I'd rather have it a little bit long and I can trim it off than to have it too short. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring this back and let's, before we take off those masking and see how we did, uh, let's just put this layer right on top of here. That looks good. We're just gonna take this right off, peel, whoop, peel that off. It doesn't matter if it tears because we're not gonna use it again. I suppose you might be able to, but not if I tear it, right? And see our image is just fine. And it is sticky because it's sticking on my fingers. So now we will. Okay, so the one I fussy cut doesn't have quite as much white, you know, around showing as the, um, the one that we die cut. But then I did trim it just a little bit with the die cut. But I think um, I think they're both I think they're both fine. And the die cutting is definitely definitely the easiest. Let's bring in um, dark gray granite or light gray granite and light sweet sorbet. And we're going to color this first. And it doesn't take very long at all. So I am going to use the light. And um, just gonna go ahead and color. I am gonna bring in, I'm gonna color his blue, balmy blue for the eyes. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and color this. You can actually color over as soon as that, uh, that blue and it will still shine through on the, be a little bit lighter. And I don't color my flower. I'm gonna use Sweet Sorbet. And I'm just going to do this a little bit quicker. So I kind of want the uh, 
I'm a little bit of a contrast. So I am going to do part of it in dark and I'm using the light right now. So I'll bring in our dark and we're just going to color right here. Just kind of blend that together. You can also do shading. I'm going to, I could do the little nails in a different color, but we'll just do maybe his ear up here too. And then I'm going to just do some dark shading along the side here. And then bring my light gray back and we'll just kind of pull that across. I just went over the his eye and it still is blue. Okay. He is finished. And now we're going to bring in, let's see, let's bring in our light petal pink and balmy blue. We'll use light balmy blue. And I'm going to go ahead and color her little dance skirt, light balmy blue. And again, I could bring in the dark and do some shading, but I'm not going to right now just to save on some time. And we'll make her shoes. They probably should be pink. Maybe her shoes should be pink. Uh, point shoes are pink, right? And then we're just going to use, make her a different color to kind of contrast our hippos. I think I need a, a new, I think I've used this. I think there's plenty of ink left, but maybe I pressed too hard. My brush is a little wobbly, so I probably need a new petal pink blending brush or Stampin' Blends rather. So I think I'm going to use the other end. And then we will make sure that get her body under her little dance skirt and her legs. And then I'm going to bring in the uh, dark petal pink and we're going to put Just a little bit to kind of give it a contrast. We're just about finished with the coloring. Thank you for sticking with me because a lot of times I'll have these already colored for you so you don't have to watch me color, but I really could with this card. I'm just gonna kind of blend that in. I'm going to turn the card. All right. Let's put our card together. Okay. Well, you know what we're going to do because did any of you see me make that mistake? That I put the DSP on the card base instead of the card layer. Yep, those things happen, right? So we need a one half 
by five and a half. And again, I'm gonna do it just a little bit longer. And then, We will just do a real quick card base, five and a half. There we go. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. But it gives me an opportunity, it gives me an opportunity to share the Simply Score because I we do have scoring on our trimmer, but I really like the Simply Score for for scoring. And notice that I always, I have a set up for the four and a fourth, and I just put my little st stylus right here and go straight down. And there's even a holder on the Simply Score that holds my stylus so I don't lose it. And we'll just fold that right over, bring in that bone folder. and crease that all right now let's see if we can do this correctly we want to put the de designer series paper on the one that has our circles not the card base okay so we will try this again we will add our stamp and seal, and then we'll line this up. And we will turn it over. And we'll trim off the extra. And now the design series paper is on the right piece. Now we can put our card together. Okay, so we are gonna lay this layer right on top of our basic white layer that we did the blending. So we're gonna put those two together. So I'm gonna bring in our, <laughs> well, thanks Connie for not making me feel so bad that yes, those things happen sometimes. Um, and especially Maria, yes, on a live. Luckily I had things close that I could fix it, but I'm gonna use liquid glue and I'm just going to go ahead and But luckily I'm stamping with my friends, right? So it's all good. And then I'm going to go ahead and line this up. And I wanna make sure that I have it even on that before I press it down. Okay. And then I'm going to add it to our card base. And this way, when we open it, we won't have any bleeding that goes through there. Now I could have die cut the, uh, you know, I, I could actually, I could put this, uh, what I'm adding glue to, I thought about using those foam strips or even dimensionals and pop up uh, this window right here. So this layer with the designer series paper and the windows, I could have added, um, so not on this layer, but I could have added uh, dimensionals or uh, those foam, and we could have, you know, raised up the little window a little bit. But I chose not to this time. Not to say that I won't next time that I make this card. I because I always like to do things just a little bit different. And now we're going to bring in our sentiment. And I believe I remember correctly, we should be able to get two of the large dimensionals. Take the backing off. And then I'm gonna place that but right here between the two of them. 
in the two circles or two hippos like that. And then I'm gonna bring in the sweet sorbet metallic ribbon. And I have already tied it in a bow. We'll probably do some trimming. And it is a uh, very narrow. It's not real wide ribbon. I'm gonna bring in a blue dot and my take your pick tool. And what I'm going to do, because this is uh, this ribbon is kind of narrow, I'm going to use the spatula and I'm going to just kind of uh, make this in a smaller circle there. So, and then I'm going to add it to my ribbon or my bow rather. Looking to see which side I want to put it on. So we'll just add that glue dot right there. And then we're going to place that right a little ways above the sentiment and press that down, bring in our snips, and then you can work a little bit with your bow and get it like you want it to be. And then we will just And of course, we need to add some bling, right? So somewhere, here we go. I decided, you know, the rhinestone basic jewels, I mean, we have so many beautiful um, embellishments in our catalog, um, but I decided today to go with the rhinestone basic jewels. I love them, they're so sparkly. And we will just go ahead and pick up one of the small ones and put it up here in the corner. Another one here. And then maybe, um, oh, let's just stick it right there. And so here is our card. What do you think? Here's the first card that I showed you. So here's the first card. I love you a ton. And there is a little bit more white, but you know, I really think this card is fine too. And here's where I just die cut. I stamped on the masking paper and I die cut them out and, you know, laid the uh, die cut of the hippos on my image and then sponged, you know, use the blending brush and went around it. And then this one, I did fussy cut this. I stamped it on the masking paper, the image, and then I just uh, used my scissors and and cut it out. So, okay, thank you. I'm glad that you like them. So the ma I stamped the image on the masking paper. I stamped the image on the card also. So I stamped the image on the card, but then I stamped the, the image again on the five by seven masking paper and then I used scissors for one of them and just cut around then I peeled off the backing and stuck it on my image on my card so when I did the blending of the sweet sorbet it wouldn't get onto my image of my hippo that I wanted to protect and then I stamped the image on the masking paper and just used my die cutting machine and die cut the image out which is much quicker right so Thank you, Connie. I'm glad that you, you like the cards. And again, I'm Terry Hartley at Rusty Barn Cards. I come live on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central. Thank you for being here. And please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. And I will see you next week. Have a wonderful week. Stay cool if you're somewhere where it's very, very warm, like it is here in Iowa the last couple of days. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.